Welcome back. So we're going to get started in Canva.com. So you guys are going to get to design at this point. And uh, I'm going to show you how to start with a template. We're going to be making a poster today. I'm going to show you how to resize that poster in order to make sure that it's the right size for printing at RCC. And then I'm going to show you at the end how to export it and how to change the size to make a flyer after with the same design. So you have all of the assets that you need if you watched the last video. If not, I recommend you going back to that video, making sure you have everything that you need, the logos, the brand kit guidelines, and the website to access all of the photos that you're going to need. Otherwise, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is look at this top navigation here. So this has a few things. It's going to have Instagram posts, flyers. You can then click social media if you're doing something social media related. Today, we're going to be making a poster. But if you'll see, this is an 18 by 24 poster. That's going to be the incorrect size. So a poster at RCC is 24 by 36. So we're going to click that poster. We're going to do first, we're going to resize the poster. So you're going to go to resize in the upper left hand corner. And you're just going to type in the new sizes. This is in inches. You can also change it if you needed to as well, but we're using inches. And then you're just going to hit resize. Okay, so now your file has been resized. Next, I'm just going to title the design. I'm going to put RCC poster. Great. So now if you'll see in the upper left hand corner, it says all changes have been saved. And that means that it's going to be automatically saving your design every now and then. So you're not going to lose anything if you X out of the tab. If you have a power outage that's been happening recently, we'll make sure that everything is still saved in canva.com. So if you just go back to that main page, you'll be able to find it. So now we're going to go through our templates, which is in the upper left hand corner if you see templates. And I'm just going to look for something that's photo based. Uh, let's go with this one. So we're going to use this as a template for our new design. And you'll see the background. You can change the color if you select it. And then you'll see background color here. So you can change it to anything that you want. I'm going to change it to that RCC green. So if you go back to the brand kit, you'll see the colors at the bottom. You also see that there's a gradient. You're allowed to use any type of gradient in order to make sure that, you know, there's some variation to your colors. You do have much more color options if you do use a gradient. So we're going to copy over the hex code. We're going to go to new color and then you're just going to paste it in there. Okay, so now the background is going to be this green color. So next I'm going to select this text. It looks like it's grouped right now. So there's some text underneath that's grouped with it. If you select it and you hit ungroup in the upper right hand corner and then click off, it'll be easier to edit some of that text. So now if you click this text, you'll see that it says League Spartan on the upper left hand corner. You're going to click that. And we're going to go back to our brand kit. Oswald is going to be your primary font. So that's your title text. We're going to go back to the design and you're going to see Oswald. You can also type it in Oswald. And it's right there. So this looks good. It's just a little too dark with the dark background. So what we're going to do is select the whole thing. You're going to go to this text color, hit that, and then hit new color. And you're just going to drag it in the upper left-hand corner. 
So you can use this color code, the series of Fs, that's just pure white. So this pure white will be able to stand out against the dark background. The next thing we're gonna do is select the whole thing. I don't like how there's so much space in between the letters. That is a, a nice aesthetic, but we're probably gonna put in a longer text. So you're gonna hit spacing. And then this letter is going to control what's called the tracking of the letters. And you're just gonna tighten it up a little bit. So that's looking good. So now if you select it again, we can edit the text. So I'm gonna put Rockland Community College Graphic Design Training. Okay, so that's a lot of text. We are going to now edit the font size in the upper left-hand corner right here. So let's give it around 64 and see what that is. Okay. So what you can also do in order to edit the size of the text, you can control the text box here. And then you can expand it and make it larger using the corners. So now if you want to just hold it, you click it and you hold it and you can drag it around. These lines make sure that it's centered. So you're going to just center it on the design. So that's looking good. I'm gonna leave a little space at the top because we're gonna put the logo at the top. So we're gonna do the same thing to this text underneath. You're just gonna highlight it. You're gonna to go to the font. So we're gonna look at the guidelines again. And Laura is our secondary font. So we're gonna go back to the design and type in Laura. And then we're gonna change the font color to yellow, uh, sorry, to this white. And then we're gonna change it. I'm gonna put learn more, learn about dynamic graphic design. So we're going to expand that, make it a little bit larger, and then center it once again. So it looks great. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to drag it to the bottom because I'm going to put our URL in there. So I'm gonna change this font to Laura. It's already white. I'm gonna bold it. And I'm just going to edit the text to say SUNY Rockland.edu. And then I'm going to just delete all of this text around this image. And I'm just gonna keep this text here and maybe we'll add something there after. Okay, so now we're gonna edit this text to make sure that it's the correct font. I'm gonna make this Oswald. So there's no real rules to this part of it. We're just making sure that everything is the correct fonts and colors really. And uh, there, you know, there's a lot of leeway when it comes to the brand. We're not trying to take all of your creativity away, but we do wanna give you the right guidelines so that everything looks uniform and like it is from the same college. So let's change this to improve and create. So now I'm just gonna add under elements, you're gonna see there's gonna be a lot of different icons and stuff that you can use here. Be careful not to use something too cartoonish because it is a college and we wanna make sure it looks a professional. So I'm gonna add this line to the bottom and I'm gonna make that the gold that we use. So just copy over that hex co color code and then you're gonna to go to this 
this color icon at the top, hit new color, paste that in there. And you have another pop of color there. So next we're going to go to the Flickr page. And if you hit photo stream, you'll see the search icon in the above the photos on the right hand side. And it's going to search just the Rockland Community College photos. So I'm going to type in computer because we're talking about graphic design on our poster. And uh, I'm going to select this one here. Actually, no, he, his laptop's a little too small to be doing any type of graphic design. So I'm going to choose a different one. Let's use this one. So now if you uh, click it and you see this download arrow in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to go to original. That's going to be the largest size that's possible. And that's going to save to your downloads folder. So if you go back to Canva and you go to uploads, you can now upload media, hit the device. Then you're going to go to downloads and the photo should be downloaded there. Okay, so now you're just gonna drag that photo into your design and you can double click it to resize it, make it a little bit larger so that it fits it. And it's looking great. So now you can click it again and uh, you'll see effects, filter, adjust all up here. So you can hit adjust and you can control the brightness and darkness on it, the contrast, the color saturation. I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to just put in black and white. And I think that this should be a gold color. So I'm going to go back to our style guide and I'm going to copy that gold color again and change the text color just to make it pop a little bit more. It's hard to read. You can also bold it and resize it a little bit. So let's control the tracking. So the only thing that's left for our poster is adding the logo. So if you go to the uploads again and you do upload media, then you go devices. You can see the downloads folder that you downloaded, select them all and hit open. Now all of those logos are going to be populated into your uploads folder. Because this is a dark background, we're going to use one of the white logos. I'm going to use the seal and I'm just going to resize it, make it a little bit smaller and put it on the top here and just center it. So there you go. That's our finished design. And uh, so now I'm gonna show you how to download it. You're gonna hit download in the upper right hand corner. There's gonna be a few options. If you're doing a PNG, that's for a transparent background really, so that if you are making a t-shirt design or something like that, the transparent background will allow it to uh, see the background of the t-shirt. So if we were to do it on this and it would be a white background, then only the text and the photo and all of that would show. And then you'll see JPEG. That's for if you're going to be putting it into an email or if it's going to be a social media post, you'll need a JPEG file. But PDF is standard for printing. So we're going to hit PDF because this is a poster and it's going to be printed at the college. We're going to hit download. And then that's going to save to your downloads folder. 
So now if we want to make a flyer based on the same design, you're going to hit resize and uh, the standard size for a flyer is going to be 8.5 by 11 inches. That's the standard paper size. And you're just going to hit copy and resize. So that's going to make a whole new tab with a whole new design. And uh, you can just change the file name. So this is going to be RCC flyer. And now you have a flyer and a poster with the same design. And you can also download that. So that's everything that has to do with canva.com. I'm so happy that you joined me and I'm so happy that you're making graphic design part of your job. And uh, feel free to send me anything that you would like comments or uh, feedback on, or if you're looking for help on anything, you can email me. My name is Jessica Stallone. My email is jstallo2 at sunyrockland.edu. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did and have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.